Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a Sunday afternoon episode of Ted to Brew Setup with me, your most gracious host. Welcome to the most premier alcohol review show here on YouTube. Now it is currently 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday the 5th of September 2021 and I hope I'm finding you all in a good state of affairs because we're going to be finishing off the final beer of last month's Brewdog beer subscription box set. And I think if the one from next this coming month isn't going to be any good, then I'm probably going to cut it off and like go to like another beer subscription box set because so far it's been wildly inconsistent. I think, and it's just like I don't know. It, it just doesn't fill me with any great sense of um, like you know just confidence that it's any good because it's been so inconsistent that I'm just kind of like a bit worried as to like what the next you know brew dog beer box set will be like but you know we um we always want to give you know companies a fair chance to impress us so I'm gonna give it at least one more month and for the time being we've got this final beer to try from this month's box which is Lost in Mango. Now, I reviewed Lost, which was a kind of an unfiltered lager from Brewdog, I think a couple of months ago, but this one is a little bit different because this feels like it's probably a little bit more of like a cross between an IPA and like a lager, and it says here it's in mango, so it's obviously a mango flavoured beer, which I'm interested to try because I mean, if you only flavour a beer with like one unique um, stylized sort of like flavour, they could probably be pretty guaranteed they like have a focused vision of what they want that drink to be. So I'm interested to see what this is like. And I mean, like the with the other Lost, I do like the design of the can. Simple colours, simple line work, not too fancy, but. It's interesting enough, so I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It's a nice looking can, the colours contrast interestingly against each other, but yeah, handsome stuff. So let's have a quick snifter and see what our first impressions are like. So, let me just bear with me one sec. Wow, whoo, that literally just smells like fermented mango Rubicon, wow. That is a strong mango smell. I can imagine that might shock people a bit rudely, uh, it might throw them off a little bit, but I mean, I like that smell. It's sort of, sort of like slightly sugarified, caramelized mango, slightly fermented. Yeah, it smells nice. I, I personally, I personally give it a nine out of ten. But I can imagine some people might not like the smell because it is quite rushes at you and sort of like mm, it's like a very unsubtle nose. So, but I mean, generally speaking, I like it. It's flavoursome. It's bright. It's colourful, and it makes you think of summer at least. Summer when it's not too boiling hot. So, get ourselves a quick palate cleanser of water first, and I'll also get a glass to pour this into because it feels like one of those kind of beers, if you see what I mean. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see what this looks like in the body. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of does look more like a lager, like how the other version of Lost looks, but, um, yeah. Well, I mean, there's only one way to know what this is actually like, and that's to taste it. So, to everyone at home, I hope you have a fantastic week ahead, and bottoms up. Mainly tastes like a gold lager. Sort of slightly caramelised mangoey under undertones. A very mangoey juice sort of finish. The finish is very like wet, but like the texture is quite crisp. Um, yeah, that's a very simple beer, but it's a very nice one. There's a slight sort of tinge of bitterness in there, like in the through line, but it's very, very, very mild. It's very subtle. It just kind of like complements the sweetness of it all. So that's very much welcome, actually. I feel like this would be really good with something like a chicken burger or a really nice like salad or like just something like light and summery and flavoursome but that's like not too heavy because that's kind of what this beer feels like. 4.5% alcohol volume. Mm. Yeah, it feels like a 4.5% beer actually. Mm. And it's got a bit of a full body. It's got a vibrant but simple flavour and it's got a bit of a oomph to it but it's also like quite subtle and well balanced 
yeah, generally speaking, I'm really pleased with this. This is markedly better, I think, than the other version of Lost. And it's a very smooth drinking experience as well. There's a bit of fizz. The initial swallowing of the flavour is a little bit harder to go down, but like generally speaking, the texture is pretty smooth. The flavour is very simple. It's literally just like a mangoey undertone against like a backdrop of like this golden lager flavour with a slight through line of sort of like candified sort of like citrus rind bitterness. Um, and then this mangoey juiciness explosion at the end, which really complements everything really nicely. So I think I'm probably willing to say for like an 8.5. I think it's just about an elite level beer. It probably 8.5, maybe dropping down to an 8.25. But generally speaking, I'm really pleased with this. This is a really nice beer, a very interesting, unique lager that has flavors but that has flavors of like an IPA but like not the aspects that people most heavily criticize of those kind of beers so yeah generally speaking I'm really pleased with this I think a solid 8.25 to 8.5 out of 10 yeah Ooh, what a nice way to end off the weekend but anyway if you guys like this video leave a like share and subscribe if you have any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Booze Cellar or you agreed or disagreed with my rating let me know in the comment section below and I'll leave the links to all the other social medias and online stuff I have in the video description down below but until next time have fun stay safe for whatever you're doing don't do anything I wouldn't do wash your hands take a mask with you to the shops drink responsibly know your limits and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar bye bye for now